this tape is prohibited. Discard it immediately. Viewing of this tape is prohibited. Discard it immediately. Randolph Forrest Bissing reports case file 1. The incident of September 12, 1999, 3.04 p.m. Okay, start. Alright, hey guys. So we are currently in the Randolph Forest in Maine. Supposedly, this is one of the most haunted forests in the U.S. Apparently, there was a whole town here, but the town got demolished because apparently it was so haunted that nobody could live there anymore. And they say that one resident survived and it's the ghost of of mr randolph himself no freaking way bro i know bro it is literally the ghost of mr That's randolph scary. all right guys shut the up mayor of the town shut up, shut up. okay so getting deeper into the forest and uh just, we're just gonna see there's like a mound of just stuff all over here do you think we'll see remnants of the town we, we might be able to bird so we know there's still wildlife living here yeah jim stop being stupid of course there's gonna be wildlife it's a oh, forest shut up bro i'm just i'm just trying to help all right that was okay. yeah, there's a ton of poison so apparently people hear like strange sounds and apparently like floating orbs i just heard something and apparently the ghost of Mr. Randolph himself, they say that he's wearing a trench coat and a hat. And some people even say that he's he's holding the stick of one of the remnants of like a person that lived in the town. Like like he's holding a ripped off head. Straight up. Yeah, we gotta But be- I don't believe any of that. I could I could easily beat up this guy anyway. Yeah, Jason, you took like like I took gymnastics and all sorts of stuff that was trained by one of my adopted parents. What's this? Yo, Dick, what was some of the other research you did on the forest? Well, apparently a lot of people have actually died here, or not died, but just gone missing. In their reports, there was this one big police chase back in 1988 where apparently they saw Mr. Randolph himself and they chased him through the forest for about 20 minutes until he just disappeared into thin air. Whoa. That's weird. Maybe it was a ghost ability. It should be careful around here. Yeah. It should be some sort of poisonous plant. I don't even know. Yeah, Dick, just be careful because you're coming off on some poison ivy right now. Jesus. Yo, this is scary. Okay. Shopping a you know, baby gym. Yo. Oh, Yo. Alright, guys. So. You. Wait. Bro, I could have sworn I just saw. Yo. Yo, 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 yo. Yo, what, what? is that? What? Look. Shopping a baby, bro. What? What is that? What the hell? Oh, what yo, the- yo, yo, yo. Go, go. Mr. Randolph. Is it going to Mr. Randolph? Wait, film. What the? Bro, it's Mr. Randolph. <laughs> Brody, it's Mr. Randolph. Go, oh my Tim, go. God. Brody, Brody, Brody. No. Oh my God. Wait, 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 Jake. Jason. Dick. Dick, where's Jim? Where's Jim? I don't know. Take, take the camera. Take the camera. Bro. Where is Jim? Where is he? Where is he? I don't know. Wait, look, look! Jim! 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 Jim, Jim speak to us, man. Jim! Jim, wait Jim, up! Jim, man! Bro, what is this? Oh my. He left the head. Jim. We have to go, bro. I can already. Shh, listen. <gasps> we have to go. Where no, but Jim! He's a guard now, man. Just leave him! Go! This bro, way. we can't leave Jim like that, bro! Oh my god! 
own life or do you want Jim's life? Which one? Man. <sighs> Bro. We have to I sing. don't know what to do. Do you hear something? What is that? On the evening of September 12, 1999 at 3.04 p.m. three young boys of the ages of 14 and 15 entered the Randolph Forest trying to document a video of their experience with a supernatural figure of the name Mr. Randolph. The three young boys have since been identified as 14-year-old Jason Smith, 15-year-old Richard Dick Brown and 14-year-old Jim Anderson. As the boys got deeper into the forest they spotted the unidentified entity only known as Mr. Randolph and now according to similar reports the watcher. The boys ran out of the forest as fast as they could as the one known as Mr. Randolph chased them making no sound according to witnesses. Fortunately for the boys' fate, the boys could not make it out of the forest without losing their lives to Mr. Randolph. The first boy attacked was 14-year-old Jim Anderson then the other two boys were attacked in the same manner Jim was. When first responders as well as paramedics arrived at the scene they were horrified at the condition of the victim's body s. Each boy was torn apart and completely disfigured especially in the facial area being deconstructed and then reconstructed to look like what could be called happier. These images display the conditions of the young boy's body's viewer discretion is advised.